if I have these array of strings, now I, if I concatenate this, I'll get an ABC. If I concatenate this, I'll get an ABC. Now, after concatenating, it just gives me same string. So now I can just say that, yeah, for sure, these two are the same strings. Now, as you saw initially itself, that one way for this to solve is that I will go on to this. I'll go on to the word one, all these strings, I'll concatenate them and I'll get the ABC. Then I'll go on to the word two, concatenate all of them and we'll get the ABC and then we'll compare that. But the disadvantage of that is that you would be using entire O of N space. And what if the first character itself is not correct? Let's say the first character itself here would have been a D. Still, you would have made the entire string and compared that. Still, you will see the average time also in that case it's it's for sure o of n but if you just can do something when you can compare every character or something like that then the average time also would have been decreased so you will see with this approach of making the entire string and then comparing will actually lead you to a o of n and o of n time and o of n space is o of n time o of n space for sure is, will be there but the time will always be o of n because you will always be iterating on the entire string to make the actual string the array of strings to make the actual string which maybe you can increase the average case time complexity now let's see uh, if we go back and see what was the main thing which we need to compare we need to transform that number to a this array of strings to one string and then compare why can't we just do one thing okay we know that the first character will be a first character of this will be a second character of this will be b second character of this will be b it's just that we need to somehow shift as soon as our first first string of the word 2 is completed i have to shift and point it to a next string of word 2 and the same if as soon as my first string is complete i will point to the next string first character of word 2 so the same we will do what we can do is we can have four pointers as simple as that uh, i pointer which can actually iterate on these strings on these strings as an i will be this i will be this i will be this and on every corresponding i pointer which is of word one i will have a m pointer or you can say any pointer let's say you can have a w1 pointer for the word to actually go on to all the strings and every corresponding string of w1 you need to have a pointer which will go on to all the characters of that word one string so what we can do for that we can have a m pointer which will point to the word one ith string like right now let's say the i is zero i is one i is two so my m will point to all the characters as soon as you will see that as soon as my m reaches the word one size so you, you, like, you, you cannot have that index, right? So you will jump your i to the next index and point your m back to zero. So if, uh, initially what will happen, you will compare uh, your i is zero, your m is also zero, your j, this j is for word two, it's again zero and your n is also zero. Now you will compare these two characters again and every moment you will you will just be comparing if it is same cool no worries go ahead now when i say go ahead i will say increase your m m will become a one n will m will become a one n will become a one increase it and for sure as you are increasing make sure that before even like you increase that's great but before comparing make sure it has not gone out of bounds m1 but the size was 2 okay it has not gone out of bounds uh, size is 3 it has still not gone out of bounds okay good now compare i compare these characters i compare these characters i compare these two oh yeah that's same okay cool increase your m and n i'll increase m i'll get a two i'll increase and i'll get a two now you see oh m i have reached the size of this particular word i word of z word one of zero dot size it, it, it has reached which means it has completed the specific word simply increase your i so i'll increase my i and i'll make my m back to zero so now it is pointing to this pointing it is just this particular thing which you have to make sure now i again uh, i'll compare these two which is for sure okay yeah it has increased i'll compare these two c and c yeah same increase both of them i'll increase this make a 
one i'll increase this make a three and then uh, it will pointing here but then i will also like before even comparing i'll check okay if it has gone out of bounds yeah you will see the size of word to j like word to of zero dot size is actually three which is it has reached the limit so please simply increase your j and make your n back to zero okay now it is now comparing now keep on comparing and in the end you will see that both should reach and ultimately both should reach both should reach the entire end so i will be here j will be here which means the entire word one strings should be completed the entire word two strings should be completed only then i can say that both of these two are equal only then you can say both of these two are equal so i i just ultimately mentioned that okay if my i is actually word one dot size and j is actually also word two dot size great uh, both are have reached the end so just cool just simply return a true so let's quickly solve this up and at any moment if the characters are not same uh, so we can actually simply uh, say that it is like a false and also make sure that the time here actually used is o of n because o of n is an as in i have to go on to all these strings and let's say if it is m strings which is actually same in worst case but yeah still it will be o of minimum of n plus m right o of minimum of n or m although in worst case it's o of n which is the which is the both the strings if both the strings are same and space is o of one because we are not using any extra space at all let's quickly code this up um so as we saw that we will we will have this word one word two and we will have the pointer so initially both i and j pointers are same so these are the word pointers word pointers right and now we will have the character pointers let's say m and n now these are the character pointers now when we have these pointers now i can actually start off and say uh, while my i is less than word one dot size and uh, and j is also less than my word two dot size now i can simply keep on going and comparing now when i say i compare i compare what i compare uh, word one word sorry word one or you can say word one of ith character m and i just check if it is not equals if it is not equal then simply return a false of jth character n jth character n if this is not equal simply return a false simply return a false else else you simply okay now it is equal now simply increase your m so i can increase m here itself after this comparison so this plus plus indicates that like m plus plus indicates firstly assign the value compare and then increase now when the okay it has increased but i said before the next comparison please make sure that it is in the bound so i'll just check if m uh, is actually uh, word one of i dot size if this is in the range then uh, if this has exceeded the range simply do one thing uh, make your i plus plus and also make your m point back to zero again uh, i'll do the same stuff for n if n is greater than or equals to word two dot size um, simply the same stuff word two of j dot size then simply the same stuff that again j plus plus and n is actually pointed to zero now ultimately as i showed you both should reach the end so as to just make sure that i've compared the entire strings entire array of strings so i'll just make sure that uh, my i is actually my word one dot size and my j is also actually equal to my word two dot size just to make sure that we have reached the entire end now let's see um now with this the time and space are actually o of the time is actually o of n and space is actually o of 1. Cool, thanks for watching. Goodbye, take care. Bye bye.